Hey, welcome now, dear friends, to the Monday edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson here with you, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church here in Topeka, Kansas. And here it is now, Monday, August 14th, 2023. Man, the days just keep going by. We didn't do Fresh Bread last week. If you were looking for it, I apologize. Just didn't get a chance to do it. So we are going to pick back up with where we left off last time, which was in the book of First Peter and again, uh, a book that was written to encourage the Christians who were being uh, persecuted. They were facing great adversity. And so that is uh, kind of where we are at here with this. I'm going to just recap a little bit here. We're going to just start out by reading First Peter from chapter 1, verse 1. And we'll go a little ways and we'll just stop and talk about it. And we'll hopefully just stay with First Peter all the way through this week see how far we get. So Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with his blood. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Wow, that's quite an intro, isn't it? Well, then we'll keep going. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief and all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, or of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Well, let's stop there. And again, we're uh, looking at this and, and in our own lives, even now in 2023, we know how important it is just to keep our faith going. And this is really true when we're just tired, I think. Sometimes maybe we're not even being persecuted, but we're just weary. And maybe we just feel like people have been unfair to us and things just haven't gone our way. And maybe we've been criticized or we just, for whatever reason, feel kind of out there all by ourselves. We just feel alone. And I want to encourage you, friends, if that's you today, just to remember that Jesus Christ goes with you. And sometimes he wants us to just walk through these difficult times with him and to keep our faith strong in him. And again, even though we haven't seen him, we love him. And though you don't don't see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you're receiving the end result of your faith, and that's the salvation of your souls. Well, friends, thanks for joining me today. God bless you. We'll be back on Tuesday for more fresh bread. We'll pick up where we left off today in First Peter chapter 1. We'll start with verse 10. Until then, God bless you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.